guys, it's me Sorta here, welcome back to another video. Today I thought I would make a whole video talking about um, wing clipping and birds and why I'm so against it. This is a subject that I have actually already talked about quite a bit on my channel, um, but every time I do talk about it I get a lot of comments that ask me a lot of questions about it and um, disagree with, with my opinion that you shouldn't clip your birds wings. Obviously I'm not going to be able to change everyone's minds, but I do recommend you maybe consider things that I'm going to talk about in this video because I'm going to go into full detail about why I am so against wing clipping and why I don't think it's necessary. Um, I just thought it would be important for me to just make a whole video about it to make it a bit easier in case anyone is looking for more information on it, in case people like genuinely like don't know um, because you know sometimes you just don't know. I didn't really know much about it to be honest uh, when I got my first birds. I never did it thankfully. I've never clipped my birds wings and I've had birds my entire life. Um, but I didn't really know much about it, to be honest. I didn't really know people did that, <laughs> to be honest. But yeah, it's something that I've, uh, become pretty strongly against since having my cockatiels <laughs> and learning more about wing clipping. Hope you want to come join us? Can you see him? He's up there. I don't know if you can see him. <laughs> I just want to clarify as well that, um, when I'm talking about this, I'm not referring to birds that have disabilities and stuff like that. I do believe that there are some rare situations where clipping a bird's wings is actually helpful to them if a bird has some kind of disability where clipping their wings actually benefits their life, you know? Also clarifying that I'm not referring to chickens or ducks, I often get a lot of comments about that too. I'm not talking about those kind of birds, I'm just talking about, like, parrots parakeets, you know, because for like chickens and stuff that is pretty different to parrots. So in this video I'm going to try and discuss every situation I can think of when people think it's a good idea to clip their bird's wings. I might miss a few things. I'm also going to link down below some articles um, where I got some of my information from and also some of them just a good read anyway because they might have more information than I'll talk about in this video because there is actually a lot to it. Um, so we're just going to kind of start with the basics. So what is wing clipping? Um, wing clipping is when people clip some of the birds wings off to stop them from flying or make them um, not be able to fly as high. Birds and their ability to fly is basically it's their life you know. They use their wings for you know basically everything. Um, it's a way to get away from predators, it's a way to exercise and there are a lot of reasons why I'm against wing clipping. Um, one of them being that often it's not done properly. Not that I think you should do it at all. A lot of the time people who don't know much about it will go and get their parrot's wings clipped and it will be done very poorly and actually like damage their wing follicles. Um, it could cut a blood feather, which can be deadly by the way. Usually at the time of clipping it doesn't cause physical pain. However, people don't really seem to know that it can actually cause a lot of physical pain and physical disabilities later on in their life, especially when it's done to young baby birds who don't know how to fly yet, which is something that is very commonly done as well as when you get your new bird, the breeder or pet store, whatever you get it from, will clip their wings, which did actually happen to my bird Yuki when I got him. His wings were clipped, um, which I didn't know that the breeder would do that. I would have told him not to if I knew he was going to do that, but he did do it. Um, and thankfully, Yuki uh, hasn't developed any issues from that. But at the time, because his wings were clipped, he was extremely clumsy and kept uh, hurting himself and breaking blood feathers because uh, he was really struggling to not have that ability to fly because during this time they're still learning to fly and so taking that away from them when they barely even know how to do it yet can really uh, make them struggle a lot more than they should have to. I know some people do it because they are worried about their bird flying into things, hurting themselves, flying into windows, flying into walls, which does happen sometimes, but clipping their wings isn't actually going to stop that. It might even make it worse. Instead of teaching them to not um, smack into windows and walls, which they learn pretty quickly not to do that. Um, you're just gonna take away their ability to fly so they just can't do anything. Like, even though Yuki, when I got him, his wings were clipped, he still would smack into things because he was trying to fly, but he couldn't figure out how to land properly because of his wings were clipped. And that uh, took him a long time due to his wings being clipped to finally start smacking into things. Whereas my other cockatiel, he doesn't want to come here, but um, he was a bit older when I got him and um, we got him for free from someone, so his wings weren't clipped. 
um, he learned how to fly so quickly and usually the reason why birds smack into things sometimes when they're flying is because they freak out from something and get like a fright so they start you know flying around like crazy and then they hit something and I know that can be a bit scary because you don't want them to hurt themselves obviously usually this happens because they got some kind of fright so you just gotta keep calm around them if they aren't comfortable with you then you just kind of gotta leave them alone and let them figure it out on their own if you have windows and stuff then you should definitely cover them until they learn where the windows are like these windows are really big like this is my door right the big door windows they don't ever smack into those because obviously windows can be a bit confusing to birds so when i first got them i would always have the curtain closed so they just learnt pretty quickly that there's a wall there um they can't fly through it so they just don't try anymore and it really didn't take them that long to learn. For Yuki, it took him a bit longer because of his clipped wings. <laughs> so that's pretty ironic, isn't it? It also takes a long time for them to grow back sometimes. It depends on the bird breed. Sometimes it might just be a couple of months. But for his first grow back, it took like five months. It took ages. And with some like bigger bird breeds, it can even take like a year or two. So you might think, oh, it's just temporary. Just clip the wings off. Sometimes it's not temporary. And sometimes you can permanently damage uh, those feather follicles. Um, because some birds just might have really sensitive feathers, you know? Some people clip just one wing, which I don't... I mean, I don't know why you want to clip wings in the first place, but clipping one wing, I don't know why you'd ever do that. Like, that is just a really bad idea, because that will just make your bird freak out, spin in circles, and hurt themselves. Which is something I don't understand when people tell me they clip their wing, bird's wings to protect their bird from hurting themselves. They still hurt themselves with clipped wings because they try to fly and they can't so they fall on the ground and hurt themselves. They have a higher chance of hurting themselves with clipped wings because they can't fly. When birds are scared of something, their first instinct is to fly away. So when they don't have any wings to fly, they're just going to hurt themselves. I genuinely believe your bird will hurt themselves a lot less if you let them have their wings instead of clipping them off. And another thing permanent physical damage and even mental damage is a real thing with wing clipping. Some birds who get their wings clipped at a very young age, at a fledgling age, will never fly ever again, even if their wings grow back. So even sometimes just that one little wing clip to make it easier for you when you get your bird can permanently disable your bird. And I, I don't know why you'd want to do that because sometimes like i said with bigger birds it can potentially take one to two years for their feathers to grow back so by that time they don't have any confidence that they can fly anymore so they don't even want to try because they're scared they're going to hurt themselves because they hurt themselves from trying to fly with clipped wings so why would they want to try now they're too scared of flying now because they never had the opportunity to learn it when they were young and sometimes they don't have the muscle anymore to fly at all because they just never developed proper muscles in their wings so they just can't do it anymore um sometimes also it can cause them to become overweight because they can't get exercise enough um flying is a big part of bird exercise so if they can't do that they could become overweight or that can contribute to fatal liver disease in some of these situations uh eventually you can teach the bird to fly again but you have to actually teach them which is kind of weird because that usually comes naturally to birds, but because their ability to fly was taken at such a young age, you have to actually teach them like you would teach a child to walk, you know? And in one of the articles that I'm going to be linking in the description does have a few examples of that happening. I don't know why I'm getting hives, by the way. I guess I'm just really passionate about this subject. <laughs> that happens to me sometimes. And then also, clipping the wings can actually cause some serious mental issues with your bird. It can potentially cause depression, trauma, and even obsessive compulsive disorders. Parrots are extremely intelligent, even a lot of them are as intelligent as humans, so it's really not that surprising. A quote from Parrot Velocity here, which I will link this down below. Flight is the most natural way of a parrot responding to motivations and coping with its environment. The inability to respond to basic motivations due to anatomical restriction can lead to stress um, and the development of stereotypes, obsessive compulsive disorder, and self-mutilation. These kinds of behaviors can include pacing, rocking, screaming, feather picking, and even biting. Birds who are clipped off often perform behaviors and postures that indicate they have the urge to fly, but their owners may not recognize them as such. Um, so I just wanted to take that whole area and talk about it with you guys because I feel like that whole little spot is really important. Um, this article also has examples, they have videos and stuff of examples of showing what a bird may look like if they want to fly. You can kind of just see it the way they move. They want to go somewhere but they can't, which is pretty sad to see honestly. It also shows some examples of these bad 
uh, impulsive obsessive behaviors that some birds can get um, like injuring themselves, um, plucking their feathers until their feathers don't grow back anymore, aggressive behaviors that can happen just from clipping your bird's wing. And this may not happen yet, but if you continue to clip your bird's wings, this is a very highly possible situation that can happen to your bird. If you have a bird that you've clipped their whole life, you know, it's not too late to stop. Um, if they get any of the disorders, um, mental issues that I'm talking about, there are ways to help them uh, recover from that. You can also get help from like a professional bird specialist that can like come to your home and help you if you have something like that near you. I don't think that it's too late to try. I believe the YouTube channel Bird Tricks actually has um, done that a few times. I'm pretty sure they go to people's houses and help them like train their birds and help their birds recover from issues like this. Uh, I think I've seen some videos from that from them. I haven't watched them in a while though but I'm pretty sure they still do that. Even if your bird has never been able to fly before and you might think that they don't miss it because they don't know what it is, it's instinct behavior. They are genetically born to fly. So they just still have that instinct and that want to fly and that need to fly but they just can't. And you may be asking, does the same thing happen if you are just trimming the wings a little bit so they can still fly a little bit but not too much? I still just don't really see the point in that, to be honest. Like, I don't really see the point in getting an animal that can fly if you don't want it to fly. Like, it's just such a cool thing to me to watch my birds fly around my room and obviously we can't always give them the freedom of flying outside. Some people can, they can train their birds to free flight. I'm too terrified to do that. It's not very common with cockatiels, but I have seen some people do it with them. I would love to do that, but I'm terrified. <laughs> we domesticated these animals, so it's important that we try to do what we can to replicate their natural instincts and environment, which we can't do fully. We can't always take our birds outside, let them fly around because they might not come back, but we can still do what we can. Let them fly around our house, let them out every day so they can get plenty of exercise. So if your reason for doing it is to protect them so they can't fly into things, um, I think you just maybe need to rethink that. Are you actually doing it to protect them or are you doing it because it makes it easier for you? And a lot of people clip the bird's wings because they do think that they are helping them and helping prevent the bird from hurting themselves, but, but really you're just making it harder for them. They can very easily learn to not fly into things. Usually they only do that because they're either a baby, <laughs> still a bit clumsy, or because they got freaked out by something so they went flying around like crazy. But with a bit of patience and training, they can learn to fly around freely without hurting themselves. Another reason people clip their bird's wings is so their bird doesn't go flying out the window or out the door or something. Which I get that. I get being worried about that happening, of course. I think every bird owner is terrified of that happening. I'm terrified of it happening. <laughs> but that's just something that you have to be careful about. Um, and it's kind of... You know, as a bird owner, your responsibility to just, like, make sure that doesn't happen instead of clipping their wings. <laughs> Which, obviously, I'm not, like, trying to blame anyone if that does happen. Accidents can happen sometimes. Someone else might open the door and it happens. I totally get that. Some birds, like, will figure out how to open a cage, you know? And that shit sucks, obviously. But it's just not worth taking away their ability to fly because of that possibility happening. Yuki's pretty good at recall training. Tofu... Yeah, he's um pretty different to Yuki. He was a rescue bird, so he's a little bit more difficult, but he can't fly very well anymore anyway because he's got a wing tumor. But yeah, I just be very careful, and thankfully they've never escaped before. Another thing I do is if I do have them out, the way I cl open and close my door, if I want to do that while they're out, is I close my curtain and then open the door, so they've got like a two-door system going on. Although not everyone has a door like that, so I guess that's kind of depends but or just put them away every time you open a door warn people put a sign in the door or something so people don't walk in you know i totally understand like having that mindset it, it is really scary and i never would wish that on anyone and i do understand like even if you do try all these things accidents can happen unfortunately but that's just kind of a risk we have you know another thing is that if they do get out and their wings are clipped Sometimes it doesn't mean that you have a better chance of catching them because they can still usually fly a bit with clipped wings but also if it's a windy day they can just get blown away and then because their wings are clipped they can't land properly all the time they can't try and fly back to your house they also have a high chance of getting caught by a predator if they have clipped wings because they can't fly away from them as well I see a lot of birds go missing that have clipped wings it happens just as much as it happens with bird with fully flighted wings and actually I would probably argue that a fully flighted bird has a better chance of 
being caught again because they might be able to figure out how to fly home better. And if you have cats in your home or dogs, so you're worried about them catching them, again, clipping your bird will just make it harder for the bird to get away if the dog or cat got inside, you know? I live with cats and dogs. They don't even interact with my birds because I don't let them. <laughs> my dog is only allowed in here when my birds are in the cage. He's not allowed in here when they're out because I just don't want to take that risk. And I understand accidents can happen sometimes, but if your bird's wings are clipped, they can't even get away from them, so like, I don't really understand that. That excuse, to be honest. Better chance of getting away from a dog or a cat if they can fly. And another thing, um, a lot of people <laughs> will clip their bird's wings to make it easier for their bird to bond with them, which... Just maybe think about that for a second. Are you doing this for your bird? To make your bird feel more comfortable? Or are you doing this for you? Are you doing this to sort of make it easier for your bird to like you because they don't have a choice anymore because they can't get away from you? Is that really beneficial to them? I don't think so. It can be hard to bond with your bird sometimes. It can take a lot of time, a lot of training. But that's just the process, honestly, with every animal. Birds are just a little bit different because they can fly away from us and we can't fly, obviously. But that's just something that you have to let them do. You have to bond with them in their own time and if they want to fly away, you just have to let them and let them come to you when they're ready. Taking away their ability to fly and forcing them to have to bond with you and spend time with you isn't going to help. It could make them very stressed and angry and aggressive towards you. It's just not worth it. Some birds just might take longer to bond with you. You just have to be patient and just, like I said, let them do it in their own time. Not to mention, if you're the person clipping their wings, it could make them really distrust you. Birds can lose their trust in people and clipping their wings can do that. I believe with time you could build that trust up again, but it's not something that you want to happen, you know? So I think that's everything, or at least most of it. You know, there's more things I could go even into even more detail with, but I think that's probably enough for the video. I feel like I've said enough. And I probably still get people who think that clipping is okay, Obviously I can't change everyone's opinion, I just want you to consider it. Maybe if you don't want a bird to fly around, you should probably not get a bird. I, I don't know, that just, just my thoughts. Like I said, I will have some articles down below if you want to read uh, even more into it, as well as some of them have like examples of the things I talked about in this video if you want to see them. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. As always, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!